I want to take Jan up on her generous offer to offer some feedback on her project. And in order to do that, I wanted to take you back to um, where her project was just um, last week as a, as a really helpful reminder to um, to many of us what can happen when, inf when uh, inspiration strikes. You'll recall that her project explores uh, mayo. She had uh, that day uh, gotten to uh, came up with uh, she gotten her J-Cut movie going she uh, dealt with uh, some of the uh, ideas that she was really seeing come forward in in uh, Gold's work and uh, she has about two minutes of photo uh, pulled from the archives some narration and script and so forth uh, dealing with uh, her um, with with Mayo's approach and his character um, and so in that she came up with this uh, draft which she has shared with us uh, and requested us uh, for feedback in uh, this week uh, today what I was asking you guys to do this week and uh, uh, is to uh, post uh, a portion of your project or a storyboard of the of the inner workings of the project so that we can kind of get a glimpse into what the project is beginning to look like. Um, Jan has uh, shared with us uh, uh, the first part of her project uh, as well as her core goals and um, and then sketched out for us through storyboard what we expect to see next. I will walk through what I believe the storyboard is telling me after doing a, a review of the first part and in all cases I'm going to be looking at it in a terms of the peer review guide that I'd like you guys to uh, get to know pretty well uh, now. Uh, next week we'll be using it to review rough cuts of your video projects. So. Um, Thank you, Jan. Um, her title, uh, William Mayle, More Than Ma Maverick, More Maverick Than Modern. The general topic is, is, uh, is our university's indebtedness to Mayo's dedication and vision. As a rationale, she's looking at the foundations of education established by Mayo and his founding of East Texas Normal College and what uh, and that do, in doing so, it may encourage current educators to seek innovative strategies to meet the needs of students. Um, I, I love these things. She made extensive use of the historic uh, ET digital collection. She's made use of the research that David Gold offered in his book. And she's also found some additional uh, uh, information and details in Texas um, State Historical Association. And a, a number of people have been making a good use of this, of this other site. Um, the social commentary that she's offering is that Mayo's driving force appears to be one of creating educational opportunities for the common citizen to become an enlightened teacher and productive member of society and to return to his or her own community to share his or her learnings and experiences. So um, become an engaged citizen, civic engagement from a kind of more modern usage of the term. He was expecting that then um, and uh, that uh, importantly, success and legacy is found in his interest in developing the teacher-student relationship, and she deals with that theme. We see that in that video, um, and uh, which are all closely related to American community colleges. This is really nice. There's a nice parallel to today's community college, uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that then in the video. Mayo's graduates comprised a large part of the Northeast Texas uh, a well educated society and boasted such famous people as Sam Rayburn, late speaker of the Texas House of Representatives, but also he was uh, uh, for a long time the longest running speaker of the House of, of the US, United States Senate um, and worked very closely with LBJ and uh, among others. Okay, so there is a little introduction, and uh, in the next portion of uh, next video, um, I have five minutes to work with. I will uh, take a look at the, the video, which you will not be able to hear, but I hope you'll look at as well, and then we'll look at what she intends to do next in terms of these storytelling elements coming up.